Alrighty, it's your day 55, and it's your birthday! It is my birthday! Happy birthday! I see you dressed up, wore the same thing you... Oh, I've been here the whole time. I haven't left since yesterday. Oh. Well, yeah. I'm... It's awkward. Hope they have a great birthday, though. Wait, um... wasn't Cory wearing this yesterday? <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? I didn't wear your shirt. But, uh, I guess I did. <laughs> he got me. <laughs> How old are you? I am... Not that I'm asking, like... How old are you? 30. 33. 33. 33. Nice. Congratulations. Are you going to do anything fun today for your birthday? Oh, I'm about to, yeah. Okay. Like right now. Do we have to do something gross? No, it's not gross. Okay. But, you know, you're always giving me the games. and uh, I know that you have me one today already, but yeah. I got a game for you today. So for my birthday, I would like if you played a game with me. Okay. Can it teach a lesson at least or something? Yeah. Oh, it's it's about determination. And I'm not going to get sick. No. Okay. No, no, no. Six. Not if you like bubble gum. You like bubble gum? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty so good to you. So you're going to take, take a piece of bubble gum. Yeah. And uh, we're going to see who's first can blow a bubble. Easy. I got you. No. No, I'm, I'm really good at blowing bubbles. I okay, think but, I can defeat you. But here's Can I you. use both? Because I like to get it. Yeah, you can use both if you want. Okay. But here's the thing first. Yeah, yeah, it's on. Um, you have to. I'm going to wrap both at the same time. Oh, yeah? You have to eat um, three saltine crackers before you blow the bubbles. Yeah, but the crackers will like dry out my mouth. Right. Yeah. You have to be determined to get through the dryness in your mouth. <laughs> I see where you're going with this. Yeah. So, so three Do crackers. you eat crackers too, at least? Yeah, I'm gonna eat crackers. Too. Okay. Yeah, this will be so fun. Three crackers. Chew them up. <laughs> like swallowing yeah. that and. We have water just um, in case you start choking. Well, safety first. You you're growing up. Thirty three. Do we, Andrew? Brace yourselves, people. You know, creation might get a little bit crazy. We have to mature at some point. <laughs> All right. So three crackers. Yeah, three crackers. You grab yours. I don't want to touch. I don't want to touch them. Okay. Okay. Oh, I kind of already started opening. Well, if you started opening one of yours. Oh, you just totally ripped into it. Oh, I'm ready to go. All right. All right. We're even now. First of all, bubble. I'm not taking it easy on you because it's your birthday. That's okay. You probably know a trick that already that I don't. So. Oh. Um, I can come up with one. All right, ready? No, 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 I need a second. <laughs> You're wise, Corey. You, I know that you think through things. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is it's saving you. up all my spit. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, <laughs> two, one, go. There's pain. Mm-hmm. And they taste like dry peanuts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're so good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pro tip for you, don't get the crackers from the staff kitchen. They're, mm -hmm. they're really stale. They're bad. Like, really bad. They're easier to chew. You're gonna beat me. Mm hmm. I already got my gum ready. Mm hmm. Now, do I want some cracker in my gum or not? Ugh. These I'm, are the grossest salting crackers I've ever had in my life. I don't want to swallow it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's so gross. That's gross. Really bad. These have got to be more than two years old. Oh. Did you not check the date? Nope. <laughs> what, I actually didn't get these crackers for me? <laughs> <laughs> the hardest part of this challenge I mean, is yeah. swallowing this nasty cracker. Oh, they're so bad. <laughs> old sunflower seeds. That, oh, yeah, that nailed it. Baby. Are you giving up? You're not showing determination? No. Mm. Alright, good game, Andrew. Mm. That was disgusting. Mm. The gum took care of the rest. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's not chewed up enough yet. Determination. Mm. Get through it. <laughs> Get through it, guys. Yeah. It's worth it. <coughs> I ain't quite one. Boom. Ugh. You're not gonna die? There's water. Mm. 
Just love you, Batman. Doesn't mean. Well, While well, he's finishing up, hey, this weekend we are opening up the book of Acts. So hope you can get a Bible. Talking about the Holy Spirit. Open it up. Acts, Acts chapter 2. Mm-hmm. You're still going? Mm-hmm. All right, don't die. Um, and it's going to be a great Bible story. <laughs> I guess that counts. Uh. And we're asking the question what keeps you going? And it's going to be important. I want you to make sure that you see how the Holy Spirit can help keep us going. Mm-hmm. So, you got this birthday bubble. Got it. I'm not great at this. All right, Andrew, it's your birthday. What do you want to do next? Uh, you know what? Sunday's Mother's Day. Okay. Let's not make it about me. Okay. Let's make it about our mamas. Cool. Let's do something cool for our moms. Let's do it. There's been a challenge every day. Mm-hmm. Complete them. Here we go. All right, Coronation, you heard Andrew. It's Mother's Day on Sunday. And so today's idea for you is Flower Friday. And this doesn't mean you have to go to like 1-800-Flowers and, and order this huge expensive bouquet for your mom. But I bet you could walk around a little bit outside find a flower and give it to her or if you live at a place that doesn't have just daffodils and dandelions laying around uh, you could go and draw some flowers for her you could color them make them real nice and give her some flowers in preparation of mother's day so that's your challenge today it is flower friday mother's day is coming be ready show love she'll love it the bible it's 66 books of history Stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1. Through 41. The room was crowded. Over 100 followers of Jesus gathered, sat on the floor, or knelt to pray. Peter, always quick to take charge, may have led them. Lord, you told us to wait in Jerusalem. You promised to send your Holy Spirit. Now, just before, Jesus had gathered his closest friends at the Mount of Olives and instructed them to tell everyone about him, from Jerusalem to every nation on earth. But then, right before their eyes, he had been taken up to heaven. You've given us a huge job. We don't know how to do it when you're not here with us. So please, help us. The room stilled as everyone waited, even though they weren't exactly sure what they were waiting for. James and John may have been near a window. Getting windy out there. I'll just close the shutters. I don't think that sound is outside. Uh, uh, Everyone stay calm. As the sound like wind rose even higher, a burst of light appeared in the center of the room. It flickered like a fireball, breaking into individual flames. (gasps) What on earth? I don't think it's from earth. As the group watched transfixed, The flames separated and skimmed out until a tongue of fire stood over the head of each believer in the room. Is this? It must be. God's Holy Spirit. As the Spirit of God filled the room and the heart of each believer, something even more incredible happened. Soon, the believers realized what was going on. God has given us the power to speak other languages. Immediately, the believers went out to join the crowds who had gathered in Jerusalem for the Feast of Pentecost. Now, these Jews traveled to Jerusalem from many regions and countries where a variety of languages were spoken, so they were shocked to hear the believers talking about Jesus in words they could understand, and each believer responded in their own language. Aren't these people from Galilee? Yes, so how do we hear them in our own native languages? We've come from all over. I've met people here from Parthia, Mesopotamia, Asia, Egypt, Libya. But these Galileans are talking about God's wonders in our languages. What does it mean? I think it means they're a little loopy. Loopy? One fish short of a lunch, if you know what I mean. 
Peter heard the doubters in the crowd, so he gathered the rest of the disciples and made his way up to the very front. My fellow Jews, hey, people! Jesus of Nazareth was a man who had God's approval. God did miracles, wonders, and signs among you through Jesus. Long ago, God planned that Jesus would be handed over. You nailed him to the cross, but God raised him from the dead. The crowd listened as the Holy Spirit gave Peter the words to say and helped them understand. Jesus has received the Holy Spirit from the Father. This is what God had promised. It is Jesus who has poured out what you now see and hear. God has made him both Lord and Messiah. Many people were deeply moved by the words Peter had spoken. So what do we do now? All of you must turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then your sins will be forgiven and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I, I want to be baptized. Me too. Me three. Then let's get started. That day, 3,000 people believed in Jesus and were baptized. With the help of the Holy Spirit, Peter and the disciples were already beginning the big job of telling every nation on earth about Jesus, even before they left Jerusalem. Andrew, Coronacation, I got a question for you. How well do you know your cereal? Now, I realize you eat it every day, but are you like a cereal expert? Well, we're about to find out in today's game. And so I got some questions for you. Remember to keep score on your hand. Let's see if you can beat Andrew in today's game. It's gonna be all about cereal. Good luck, brace yourself, here it comes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Which cereal was promoted with an animated son named Sunny? Sunflakes, Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran. B. Raisin Bran. B. B. Raisin Bran. All right, there's one. Are you holding our fingers up? There's one. Which Kellogg cereal was first introduced on the market? Uh, Rice Krispies. D. Rice Krispies. D. Oh, corn flakes. Oh, we got one wrong. Which cereal uses the slogan, kid tested, mother approved? Uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios. No, Kicks. D. Kicks. D. Boom. Mm. Got it. That's too right. Okay. Which was the original monster cereal produced by General Mills in the 1970s? Blueberry. Count Chocula. Count Chocula. C. Count Chocula, I think. Count Chocula. Ooh, I think I know my cereal. I do too. Which cereal is most often called magically delicious? Oh, Lucky no. Charms. Boom. You knew that one. B, Lucky Charms. So good, Liam, so good. Which brand of cereal boasts on the company website that their cereal is pre-sweetened kids cereal in the US? Number one. Uh, A. 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 Captain Crunch. Why? That's my wrong. favorite! I know, we got it wrong. Rabbits are supposed to like carrots, but I hate carrots. Was part of the original slogan for which cereal? That is Trix D. Final answer. Boom! According to their advertisements, you need to eat 10 bowls of your cereal to equal the nutritional value in just one bowl of what cereal? Bran. No, Wheaties. D. 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 Eat your Wheaties. You hit home runs. Oh, come on. <sighs> Complete the following phrase by selecting a cereal. I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs! We just said this yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. B. Cocoa Puffs. You asked me if I was cuckoo, I said for Cocoa Puffs. According to the book, Serializing America, which of these cereals has the highest um, amount of sugar per serving? Oh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. D. Yes. D. D, 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 D. Aw, oh, oh. honey smacks. We, we got, got six, six right. right. Communication. We probably beat you Two. again. Again. Hey, the camera's right there. Yeah, you gotta look right there. You went off the screen. We probably beat you. Ag again. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. tomorrow.